Hi everyone, um, welcome to Brand Me TV. I'm delighted to have Denise Meet Hill from Career Transitions DMH with me today talking about our theme of mentoring. Um, and obviously we're continuing with that theme for this month. So Denise is going to give her perspective on how mentoring has helped her and her business. So Denise, welcome to Brand Me TV. <laughs> Explain um, Thank you. <laughs> what you do and how long you've been doing it and when you started your business. Okay, okay. Well, thanks very much for inviting me, Dion. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I Mentoring is something that's close to my heart, so I'm very um, uh, delighted to be asked to um, share a few um, hints and tips or, or my perspective on how uh, mentoring can support uh, individuals. Um, I started uh, my business um, in 2012, so just coming up to seven and a half years now. Um, having been in the learning and development field for some time, I thought that I would uh, be uh, more interested in working directly with individuals who. who were also going through um, professional change, whether that's um, self-directed through um, decisions to move on um, within the organization or externally, um, and whether it was through uh, redundancy, for example. So um, I decided when my organization was going through a restructuring itself, that I would uh, focus um, solely on that uh, area. Um, where I am at the moment in terms of my support um, and the career coaching um, piece is um, based um, mainly on you know, my experience of working within uh, a wide range of industries, so across health, education, um, hospitality, um, and I um, learned in the corporate sector. Um, and I have a postgraduate qualifications in, in, in career coaching as well, which kind of underpins um, my approach to um, supporting others. Okay. And um, have you ever been mentored? And how did, it, how did it affect you personally and professionally? Okay. Okay, yes, that's a good question. Um, mentoring uh, for me started at a very early age. Um, I remember uh, examples where my uh, aunt, who was a professional in her field, um, a, a nurse in the, in the health care role, in a health care role, um, she took a particular interest in, um, you know, my... Uh, development as a as a young girl going making decisions about university um, and then um, through her um, I suppose demonstration of the continuous professional development in her life where um, after she retired she returned full-time to employment and led um, a, a healthcare organization all the way through to um, you know her uh, her end of the time there into her late 80s wow. so she was definitely a role wow. model for me which demonstrated um, you know you, you can um, have that passion within you to con continue to contribute even um, beyond um, you know what's considered in her time was considered to be um retro you know quite quite a retro move mm -hmm. um it was something that wasn't done usually you've come to age and uh, you know you 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 kind of leave it there but she um felt that that was a passion for her so she continued um in that field mm -hmm. excelled at it uh, so um in learning some of the lessons from her um, that helped me personally. Um, when I then went into the workplace, there were two people, um, in fact, who stood out for me. One was Liz, uh, who was also working in the learning and development 
field at the time and uh, she uh, came alongside me as a new starter and really supported my interest in uh, engaging with the organization uh, with our publics i.e the teams that we worked with and helped me to find um, my own career path within the organization another person a little bit later on who came into my life again uh, within the company that i worked with um, was uh, judith and um, she took a, a real interest in um, my uh, again career development but also in those um, kind of personal qualities i think that um, helps you to stand out as someone who had um, leadership qualities um, and um, as someone who can also help others so it isn't solely just in terms of what i can get out of it but what that support enabled me then to do for others within the organization and that was something that was really valuable um to me yeah yeah definitely it's interesting that you say that um you know and i think this is similar for, for all of us is that family members or close friends or somebody that you're close to not necessarily on a professional level but they're usually the ones that kind of start you on that mentoring journey that you can look up to yes take advice from um and they want yes. to invest in you so that they that mentoring starts from a yes. very young age and then obviously when you go into work yes you again those leaders that that you look at and you feel inspired by and they and the ones yes. that i believe are true yes. leaders are those ones that are really happy to support you and help you to see the best in yourself um and i know that yes i've personally experienced as well at work um because it helps mm. you confidence it helps you to be able to um see yourself in a different way and know that you can actually achieve what you want to achieve so mental yes. having somebody there that can mentor you is, is amazing do you um use an element of mentoring yes. in your business and what impact does it have on your client's experience working with you? Mm. Uh, yes, um, th that's um, a good point, actually, because, um, as you know, uh, very often uh, there is uh, quite a close connection between mentoring and coaching. And sometimes, uh, you know, s s people may feel um, that the two are uh, intertwined they're quite closely intertwined um mentoring um and coaching yes they do share similar skills both the mentor and the coach has to have an interest in people um you know um you have to really be curious about what that individual wants to achieve and uh how you can contribute to that so that you know both um, roles share that perspective um, has to be someone who um, is an encourager and a motivator so within mentoring and coaching again those qualities um, are quite you know key to um, enabling that person to feel that um, you know you, you you have their best interest at heart um, both the mentor and the coach has to be someone who engenders trust. That individual has to feel that um, you know you 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 are they're safe with you, um, and that um, the 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 journey will be a supportive one. So definitely a key element there is that trust. Um, so uh, I, yes, I do bring um, quite a. a heavy influence on how I was mentored into the coaching um, relationship with my uh, coachees. The difference though with coaching is that uh, the individual um, is, is, is the one who takes overall responsibility for delivering on the goals that they've set for themselves. Mm -hmm. So the uh, coach acts more as a guide 
and um, uh, a, a, a person who brings out the best in that um, individual and keeps them focused, working to deadlines, um, ensuring that uh, the goals that they have themselves are realistic, um, challenging where um, that needs to be done and really stretching that, that person, um, whether it's in terms of building confidence or career development or career change, you know, those are the areas where, where the, the coach may most impact. Mm, yeah, definitely. definitely. Um, so, quick final question. Mm. What... Mm -hmm. um, three tips do you have for people seeking a career change? What are your top three tips? Right, okay, my top three tips are um, very practical ones actually. It's about um, not allowing procrastination to set in. Once you've um, thought about a particular area where you would like to pursue um, you know, a career pathway, or make a um, change in the direction that you're going in, or you have you've, you've identified an interest. Um, it would be to um, you know agree a time scale and do it because very often we allow those limiting beliefs to um, prevent us from moving on, and then um, what happens is that that idea gets put on the back burner, another year goes by and you know, no progress has been made. So launch out, do it. That's the first tip. Right, right. The second tip would be um, to develop your plan um, and you know, look to see what support you have um, around you. The support may already be there in friends or families. If you need a more professional input, well, you know, seek out a coach that you feel aligned with and who you think um, may be able to um, give you some um, guidance on that, on that journey. But get some support. Um, you know, there, there's no um, benefit in struggling mm. on alone when you know there are so many resources um, out there yeah, definitely. that my third tip yeah my third tip would be um, to um, visualize um, you know your outcome usually that's another um, area if it's not clear um, you know what you're aiming for or what that um, outcome looks like um a lot you know you may spend unnecessary time going around in circles so think about uh you know what are you seeking to achieve where do you want to be um you know how might that um what might that look like uh for you uh and if you can visualize it the thinking is that you can achieve it and you are more likely to pursue it yeah. so um the, those are the three i would say would be for anyone thinking about career change Fabulous. banish the procrastination visualize your um direction and get some support start planning yeah definitely i, I agree i mean i think it's, it's easy to kind of want to do something and then that fear steps in about how am I going to do this? Yeah. yeah, you don't know where to start, and usually the first yeah. thing to start is to just ask for help, <laughs> which most people kind of, you know, they feel a little. Oh, that's bad. right. Yes. So it is just about kind of, you know, if yes, you have to be brave. Yes, you have to have that courage because you don't. You you're essentially yes. potentially stepping into the unknown. But um, if you don't mm. do it, you'll never know um so yeah it's yeah. Definitely, definitely great tips thank you very much and i do apologize if yes. yes. son shouting in the background it is half term um so you know, yes. I'll, I'll have to go and mentor him on how to be quiet when i'm recording because he knows i'm recording <laughs> I'm just give him a little bit of okay but thank you so yeah much. that was fine
joining us and um, giving us your insight okay. and your um, perspective on mentoring. It's great to talk to you. And thank you yes. for being part of the group. Yes. I hope it's um, helping you with your business and your personal brand development. We're going to be bringing a lot more interactive stuff into the group very soon. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Yes, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, well, thanks for asking me. I really appreciate that. Okay. Have a nice day. You too. Thanks, Denise. Bye. Bye.